Okay, my name is uh, Carlo Muñoz. Uh, I'm originally from Mexico. Uh, the state that I was born is famous for uh, the Mexican music and especially the Mexican drink agave or tequila, well, tequila that it's made out of agave. So I was uh, raised pretty much in agave land. Okay, I'm getting a master's degree from the Biological and Agricultural Engineering Department here at the U of I. Uh, um, my topic was was to make uh, figure out a way how to turn vegetable oil into a new type of biofuel, which is called uh, renewable diesel, or also it's called a green diesel. Renewable diesel, uh, it's different than biodiesel because it uh, you it doesn't have any oxygen. So you, the only thing you do differently is you remove the oxygen. Biodiesel's energy content is like a um, usually 10% or 8 to 10% less than diesel fuel and renewable diesel is pretty close. That's it, pretty much the only advantage of using renewable diesel. The, the company that I work for in the US, it's called Bloom Distillation. Uh, it, its founder is David Bloom. He's a kind of a celebrity. Uh, he's been working with uh, ethanol for the 30 years. He wrote a famous book called Alcohol Can Be a Gas. And uh, he invited me to be a part of his project. And uh, what they're doing right now is they're try trying to sell medium, small to medium size or scale um, ethanol production facilities. There's a lot of opportunities in that market and they're mostly focusing on using waste as, fuel, uh, as a fuel source. And that was really good because that's what I learned here in the University of Idaho is uh, one of the things we learned is how to turn uh, waste into fuel. And that's why uh, this guy was interested in, you know, me being part of his team because I had that experience. I, I know how to make uh, fuel out of almost any kind of uh, waste there is. This kind of hands-on experience or, you know, those details that the industry needs, you can read in a paper, it doesn't, but it doesn't mean anything. This is how you should get the biodiesel coming out of the cone. Like when you make biodiesel, the same thing is until you make biodiesel, you start, you know, facing a lot of problems and uh, how to solve those. You can't read that on a published paper or a magazine or on watch a YouTube video. You need to you have an expert tell you how to solve that problem. And those experts are here in the University of Idaho. And that's, uh, I guess, and that's why I, I, I quote that this is the best place in the U.S probably in the world to learn how to make biodiesel.